The Potonggang Hotel is located on the banks of the Potong River in Pyongyang. Despite its name literally meaning normal hotel, it is far from it. Built in 1973, the Potonggang Hotel is one of North Korea's top class hotels and is one of Pyongyang's fanciest and most expensive hotels, if not the most expensive. It has a large exterior with a large driveway up to the main entrance of the hotel, as well as a large parking area just below. Welcome to Potonggang Hotel. So this is one of Pyongyang's nicest and fanciest hotels and also one of the most expensive. We're gonna take a look inside and see what kind of facilities that they have. Both local Koreans and foreigners can use this hotel and it can get pretty busy during summer. So we've just walked into the Potonggang Hotel, which is the most expensive hotel in Pyongyang and probably for a reason, it's definitely the, one of the fanciest. It's everything from standard rooms to secondary rate rooms to um, uh, VIP rooms and suites, which we're gonna check out in a minute. So behind me, um, this is the main kind of area where they have all the facilities. We've got various different shops selling goods from the DPRK as well as um, foreign goods. So to my left hand side, just behind me, you can see one of the shops, which I have to say is probably one of the best shops in Pyongyang for selling foreign goods. If you want some good foreign foods, foreign alcohol, foreign drinks, it's a really good place for it. And now just behind me, we have one of my favorite restaurants as well. It's kind of Japanese Western food. Originally, actually, there was Japanese chef and Japanese staff that used to work there. Uh, they went home about 10 years now, so they're back in Japan, but it's still very authentic and very good Japanese food. On the second floor, there are three different restaurants to choose from. There's a Korean restaurant offering traditional Korean food, a Japanese restaurant, and a restaurant in the large banquet hall offering Korean and Western fusion cuisine. The hotel has a total of nine floors. On the first floor, you can find a Korean restaurant, a barber's, beauty parlor, sauna, massage room, and fitness room. On the second floor, there's a reception, an international communications service office, a bookshop, coffee shop, karaoke, and multiple other facilities. There is also a Koryo Link office, the foreign internet service provider, and Wi-Fi service in the lobby. There are standard, premium, and VIP rooms available, and I take a look to see what they're all like. When I visited, two out of the three VIP rooms were already full. I make my way through the winding corridors to see the first room, a standard room. The standard room costs 10,360 DPR Korean won per night. They're basic but large. There are two standard single beds, a TV with foreign channels and a basic bathroom with bathtub. Next up is the premium room. The premium room costs 18,341, which is approximately 183 US dollars. This room is made up of two areas, a bedroom with an ensuite bathroom, a lounge area with a large TV and sofa, as well as a reading desk and a chair and a small fridge. We're currently having a look around the second class rooms, which I have to say are pretty impressive compared to the third class room. So I would definitely recommend um, a second class room. You can see behind me, we have like a lounge room with some chairs and also TV. And then you walk through past the balcony area into the massive bedroom with the big double bed you can see behind me and it's also en suite so just in front of me which I'll take you through to now is the bathroom uh, with a nice big bath just behind me and lots of cool hotel amenities as well 
Second class room has got the vote for me for now, but we're about to go and see the first class, maybe even a suite, so let's see what that's like. Next up is the VIP room. The VIP suite will set you back a massive 38,361 per night, which is about 384 US dollars. You'll spend about five minutes trying to navigate this suite. Okay, so we've just walked through the entrance of the suite room and I have to say the second class kind of looks a little bit rubbish compared to the suite room. Uh, so we've just walked into the first room that you come to, which is behind me, and uh, you can see it's a kind of like meeting room uh, with lots of like tables and chairs and stuff. And then it's a, like a bit of a maze in here. So now there is a room that I'm currently walking into, which is a dining area. Let me show you behind me. Um, so not only is there a place to dine, but uh, there is also a place where you can cook in. Uh, it's a little bit dark, but behind me we have the kitchen area. <laughs> where you can do some cooking to dine in on your dining table. Um, and then if that's not enough, you can even take your food out onto the balcony and enjoy it on the balcony behind me. So after we've, um, after we've had our dinner and had our business meetings, it's then time to chill out in the next room just behind me, uh, just in front of me, sorry, which is the lounge area. You need to have a bit of chill out sometime. So now you can see the massive lounge area behind me equipped with a big TV. And then after that, all of that uh, business meeting, eating and resting, you're probably a little bit sleepy. No problem. We have a really big and comfy looking bed for you right here. And if you wanna have a little bit more relaxing before bed, you wanna take a bath, have a nice shower, this, this place has it all for you. So this is probably one of the nicest bathrooms in a hotel that I've ever stayed in. So you can see um, the massive shower behind me. Um, and then also there is a big bathtub as well. Um, and the toilet, and then also a lovely makeup shelf. There we go. So I have to say, um, the Podongang Hotel is a very fancy hotel. The third class rooms, the second class rooms are pretty decent. However, I know where I want to stay. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this hotel has to be this area that I'm currently walking into, which is the coffee shop. And uh, they also sell some cocktails and bar snacks as well. So after walking around the hotel, checking out all the rooms and the facilities, let's check out the most important thing, how the coffee is. It is an open plan but cozy area that plays Austrian classical music and gives the illusion that you are somewhere else in the world. The coffee is good but expensive and you can also get various bar snacks and light meals. Alcohol is also served here. So finally, after waiting just a couple of minutes and enjoying the uh, beautiful classical music going on behind me, um, I don't know if you can hear that, reminds me of um, drinking a Viennese coffee right in Vienna. But um, I'm not in Vienna, I'm in the DPRK, although you can hardly tell looking around right here. But let's see if it shows in the taste of the coffee. <sighs> and exactly what I needed. Ah, goodbye video for now.